Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai vehicle. If you guys have a Hyundai vehicle, you need to remove or replace outer tie rods. Stay with us, we will explain everything from start to finish. It's not as easy as it seems, so we will explain a few tricks, so make sure you stand till the end guys. Also, we will explain one trick towards the end, because without that thing, you can have a really hard time getting the bolt tight towards the end. So make sure you stand till the end. We will demonstrate on a Hyundai Sonata, but the same design suspension has been used in most multiple Hyundai vehicles just the size may be different so the video may be helpful guys on Hyundai Sonata, Elantra, Tucson, Santa Fe, Accent and Hyundai Elantra as well. So let's go ahead and show you what we need to do now. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools, anything for your Hyundai guys, okay, we're going to share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can save you even more money and provide even more videos. Now, if you have a Hyundai, you want check guys our second channel it's called electrical car repair life we are going to share so much helpful information about diagnostics engine codes and things like that there as well so definitely check it out first step guys you need to remove your wheel we have already ours removed now you will need penetrating spray that's your number one friend guys so let's explain where the outer tie rod end is located okay and uh, what we have here so looking at it now here okay guys on your uh, on your suspension this is your outer tie rod okay the purpose of that out outer tie rod is connected to the power steering so when you turn your steering wheel it turns your tire you have an inner tie rod right there so if you have played the system it could be inner tie rod it's uh, really easy to uh, find out where it is by trying to grab the wheel and move it and see if the play is here or what's it's on the inside now how do you guys okay how do you guys get it loose now Okay, let's explain now. First, we are going to uh, go ahead, okay, and remove that pin of the boat. Some boats will have that, some don't. If you have a hole on the boat, you need to have a safety pin. Okay, that's for sure. You need to remove it. Now, we're going to need a 14 millimeter uh, offset box wrench. Works really good for that. So, uh, let me see, okay, where we have it. Okay, right here, that's an offset box wrench. And we'll just start, okay getting that nut loose okay now some of those guys some of those bolts on top may have a spot where you can hold them with a torx wrench or a hex key so they don't spin if the bolt starts spinning you can get your jack underneath jack it up just a little bit to the point okay not much just very little because if your car is supported by jack stands it will fall but you just need to put barely any tension so it can hold the boat from spinning and i would recommend doing that on a lift so the car is more stable now that nut is loose we need to pre-loosen the nut on the back side okay right here this is a huge size usually probably one inch or 24 millimeters something like that it might be really tight to the point that you may need to use okay almost a hammer to get it loose and we we'll recommend to use penetrating spray here once you get the nut loose uh, apply some penetrating spray okay between these two parts as well and let it soak so now we are ready to go ahead okay and remove the nut that we have okay right here so the whole thing needs to be unscrewed once we do that we'll continue okay with the next uh, with the next step and explain what we need to do if you guys want to see any specific video on Hyundai okay Definitely guys let us know because uh, we're in the process of making quite a few videos We just got a few hand days at the shop now so we can demonstrate how to do fix, how to fix things And uh, try to save you as much money as we can so just drop a comment below and if we have time we'll make a video now We are removing the net now It's almost out Okay, you can see not much left towards the end it will start going by hand pretty easily Now once you remove the nut guys, we will explain what you need to do. You will need to get penetrating spray. Okay, let's see. Right here. Spray between the bolt and the nut there. Uh, between the bolt and the control and the steering wheel hub. Okay, give me just a second to reposition. Okay, right there between the two, just spray. Let it soak. Okay. And I will recommend to let it soak for 10-15 minutes and we'll continue. Next guys, 
right here you can see that's the steering knuckle the hub right there with a the hammer hammer on it okay and once it's soaked it should come out okay you can see it came out perfect just like that that's the hole where the pin was now you need to guys okay what do you want you can see the smoke still from the from the rust here you need to get a 15 millimeter socket in our case as a wrench and a big wrench right here and we need to start getting the tie rod loose in some cases that thing may be so tight that you may have really hard time removing it if that's the case install the tie rod back on the hub and use two three wrenches here at the same time because one will just slip or in uh, on another car we even use the pipe wrench guys because it was so tight we couldn't get it out you can see the rust inside we sprayed some penetrating spray earlier and it ate all that so everything is coming loose guys and the tie rod is about to come out okay check it out what we are doing now okay almost there every time you replace tie rod you need to go to alignment try to install it at about the same position that the last one was so just get that big nut loose okay probably two revolutions let it install the tie rod and get it tight about two revolutions now that doesn't mean that the alignment will be perfect very carefully very slow drive the car to alignment center and have it aligned because not having an aligned car okay can be very dangerous to drive and this is an outer tie rod on a hyundai vehicle guys later when you install it okay when you get that nut tight if it starts spinning again guys just you can support it on the bottom with the jack okay so that bolt can get stuck and it's not going to spin and you can install it but again make sure the car doesn't fall on you because that's super easily to do okay always uh, always support the car by multiple jack stands and uh, try not to lay underneath it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time